welcome back. If you're just joining us, it's WCW, a segment where we celebrate the strength of a woman. And today in studio, we got a magical woman, uh, an entrepreneur. Her name is Jacinta Njoki. You're looking lovely. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh -huh. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, who is Jacinta Njoki? Uh, so, of course, I'm a lady, uh -huh. <laughs> 24 years, I mean, 25 years, just turned 25 years uh -huh. old recently. Um, basically, I do picnics, that's what I'm known for. Aside uh -huh. from that, uh -huh. I'm, I'm still in school doing my master's. All yeah. right. So, when did you graduate from school? Two years ago, uh -huh. yeah, from Desta University. All right. What did you do in school? I did business, actually. <laughs> I majored in business. Right. Bcom, yeah. Uh -huh. And so why did the, where did the idea of picnics come from? So now this, the whole idea of picnics came from um, just one year after school, mm -hmm. after graduating, my best friend wanted a picnic mm -hmm. and she decided, you know, it's during uh, lockdown, we are all in the house, mm -hmm. there's no going to restaurants, so why don't you all do a picnic? And I told her, yeah, I'm, I'm up for it, let's go design something. So the outcome was really beautiful and all my friends, the ones that attended, just told me to jump into it and that's how it all started. So after doing it, it became a business. All right. All right, so when you just came up with the idea of starting the picnics business, how did your parents take it? Like they took you to school to do business yeah. and then they're expecting you to graduate and then do manage finance with Sabu Pesa and then you <laughs> come and you're like, yeah. I want to venture into business mm -hmm. and I want, I'm doing picnics. Yes. So they're like picnics? <laughs> they were actually very, very supportive because mm -hmm. um, they had to see it first. So I made sure I created something beautiful for them to come and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. That's why I told them this is what I want to do. Um, I'm passionate about it and they blessed me and it's been beautiful ever since. All right, so they yeah. were supportive. Very, very supportive. Okay. Yeah. So what do you actually deal in? Picnics, mm -hmm. what do you deal in? So now a picnic will entail coming with a picnic table, yeah. some cushions, food, um, of course the cutlery, anything that a picnic comes with, mm -hmm. but not we are elevating. Mm -hmm. Now picnics are not being done the same that used to be done before, just with a regular shuka. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's been elevated. People want something quite exquisite. So now that's 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 all that it entails basically. Okay. Yeah. So, like you say, you you have you the the events were being done before, yes. like with shukas and yeah. all that. Okay, so how have you modernized mm -hmm. your business? Of course, now it comes with things like candles, mm -hmm. some flowers. How you're displaying even the napkins. Mm -hmm. You know, it's sort of mimicking how uh, a restaurant would be, mm -hmm. but not in a picnic way. Yeah. Yeah, but I know you're able to enjoy that kind of setup, mm -hmm. but now it's just a picnic. Okay, so yeah. where do you get your deco? <laughs> just locally, actually. Do you design it yourself? Yes, yes. I come up with a design that I prefer, uh, preferably like. Mm -hmm. Then I just share it with probably my tailors. Mm -hmm. and, and I, just I was looking it. at some of your videos yes. on Instagram and they were so, so tremendous. <laughs> Thank so, you. And then I saw somewhere saying that you designed them. Then I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> this one must be a gift. <laughs> it is, it is. And, I, and I'm really thankful for it. Okay. Yeah. So, social media, mm -hmm. it has, we are in an era where social media is actually impacting so much yes. on so many businesses. So how has it impacted on your business? Uh, it's really been good, mm -hmm. especially because when I started, that's why I just went to immediately posted on social media, like Instagram, and mm -hmm. now people shared this. Mm -hmm. And through sharing, I was able to get different clients, people who are interested, and at the same time, they're also sharing, and that's how uh, many people knew about the business. So it has been really been, it has been so good to me, because mm -hmm. now many people know about it. Yeah. Okay. So, like uh, the picnics yes. you do, how 
what are your charges like if someone wanted a birthday mm -hmm. do you have like a specific or a range oh so i have a range because mm -hmm. we have different packages mm -hmm. with the people who prefer to be exquisite they want probably some some snacks there they want maybe a bottle of wine mm -hmm. the kind of carpets they'd go for so it all depends with what one is going for mm -hmm. and for example from two to four people it's going to range from three thousand five hundred mm -hmm. to around eight thousand depending on what you'd like okay yeah so uh Picnics, they are so competitive. Mm -hmm. Today, it being that there are travel agencies and all that, how are you managing competition? So first of all, mm -hmm. um, I was able to rebrand mm -hmm. and to brand myself in a way that uh, I actually get this a lot from people. Mm -hmm. Like they'll pass by and see a picnic and they'd know it's me because of the items that I use are quite unique. Mm -hmm. And also, again, our customer service and also our prices are very friendly. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, starting it during that time, mm -hmm. um, I hadn't seen many people starting it. So I made the prices very user friendly. And now with this, people people really, really reacted to it very well mm -hmm. and they wanted it. So with that, already I'd created, in terms of competition, mm -hmm. already uh, people, people would see that this is, these are friendly prices, um, mm -hmm. the items are quite unique. So that's, that's how, so far, so far, that's how I've been dealing with it. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, when you say uh, unique, yes. what's so unique? What's so unique in yes. terms of, uh, nowadays you'll see maybe um, people don't use pallets. Mm -hmm. I won't use pallets. I'll, I have my own tables that mm -hmm. are specific. Mm -hmm. so that uh, they are unique to my brand mm -hmm. in terms of the sizes of the pillows, in terms of the colors, the textures, like you can tell, mm -hmm. they're just not the random ones. You know, maybe if you want a glass of water, mm -hmm. um, you'll all go for the same, but I, I'll go to an extra, extra edge to make sure that mine is unique. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So when we, when most people go online, do you like book? Do they book with you before? Yes, yes. You have to book before to make a reservation yeah. with us. So especially it's just done online. It's quite easy. They send a photo. Yes. They're okay. like, um, this is what we want to do. We want a picnic for this package. Mm -hmm. Just tell them this is the amount to have a location. Yes, yes. Then booking is done immediately and people just come and enjoy the picnic. Okay. Yes. So how has the business Okay, you said before you did finance. Yes. Back in school. Mm -hmm. So how are you managing business and finance and, and, and your job and at the job same time? Yes. Uh, so you'll find that people won't do picnics every other time. Mm -hmm. Like for example, it's on a Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe you'll just get one person, two people just doing it. So um, during weekends is when we are mostly busy. Mm -hmm. So between Monday, and f uh, Monday to Friday, that's when now I do my other job. Okay, yes. so you manage to juggle this. Yes, yes, I'm able to juggle it. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, like, are you planning to go back to school and mm -hmm. maybe... Yeah, well, I'm still in school, as <laughs> oh, I said. You, yeah. You okay. yeah, yeah, with my master's. So who knows if I'll, if I'll go back to do a PhD. I, I mm. don't know. Yeah, only time will tell. Okay. Yeah. So, you, 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 started, you started the business. Okay, actually, when did you... I didn't ask that. When <laughs> did you start the business? How old is your business? So, it's about to turn one year next mm -hmm. month. Mm -hmm. uh, I started in September 26th. Last year? Last year, yes. During COVID? During COVID. So how has COVID affected you? Actually, the business in particular? Posi positively because mm -hmm. now uh, that's when people were indoors. Mm -hmm. They're not doing anything. The restaurants, all, you know, all hangout joints have been closed. Mm -hmm. The places that people are free to go are gardens. Mm -hmm. So now that's when I realized, ah, I can tap into this market because mm -hmm. this is where people are during weekends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's, it's, uh, COVID has actually been a blessing in disguise to me. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So like, you never miss out on guests, like business, for you it has boomed during the, the yeah, pandemic. Yeah, during the pandemic it has boomed and that's when I actually launched it. 
Wow. Yeah. It has been a, a, a blessing, exactly. Yeah, in disguise, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, they say that the customer is always right. Mm. Have you encountered this type of a customer or a client yeah. who really wants what he wants or what she wants? Mm -hmm. And that is it. Yeah, yeah, I have every other day. <laughs> I do because, you know, people are different. Okay. Uh, customers are different. This is what they want. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, um, being on social media, you have to be very careful because mm -hmm. uh, if you don't say that customer is not right, uh, it's just within just one word mm -hmm. and it, it can destroy your name. So for me, the customer is always right and mm -hmm. I'll always try to reason with what they're saying. Okay. Yeah. So who are your most clients? In terms of the age? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so from 25 to 34, mm -hmm. uh, those are my most clients because now this is when people are celebrating things like bridal showers, baby mm -hmm. showers, anniversaries, yeah, engagements. Mm -hmm. So yeah, those are my, my most clients. They vary between that age. Okay. Yeah. So uh, have you like uh, done the picnics for celebrities maybe oh, yes yes i have i have they okay. reach out many of them actually uh-huh yes and <laughs> it's always a good yes. experience yeah okay so like can you can you like just give us a few a few yes okay yeah just actually just the recent weekend i mm -hmm. did for wahoo and nameless Mm -hmm. um, the daughter was turning 15 years so yeah we we did a collaboration i did the know the birthday for her previously even with over 25 hmm. just to mention a few okay <laughs> yeah they're they quite a number all right yeah so what are some of the picnics mm -hmm. that you you organized and they stood out for you you're like this one mm -hmm. it was the best it was the best yeah well of course, I create. I, I always aim to create the best uh -huh. for each and every client. Mm -hmm. So I'd say all of them, because so I mean, you see also um, in terms of how the client receives it. Mm -hmm. Like if they're happy, I'm happy, and it's the best thing for me. So we aim to always have the best picnic decoration at every event that you make, mm -hmm. regardless if you're two, if you're four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to be, just make a magical experience. Okay. Yeah. So like uh, most of the time, we are, we are in an era where you find that uh, you post something mm -hmm. on social media yes. and someone has not, have, okay, in short, let me just put it this way. Mm -hmm. Have you encountered bullies, like mm -hmm. someone sees whatever you've posted and then he sees like, that one, this one is just a no. <laughs> it's of a name. <laughs> yeah, there are people like that. Like, and, um, I remember the time I posted them, someone was like, what if it rains? Like, ati alafu kunyeshe, you know? <laughs> mm. Like, and which, which is, of course, it happens, it can rain. But at the end mm. of the day, we are very optimistic. And, you know, we say in case it rains, you can always push it mm. or we reschedule it. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's the only thing that I've encountered, mm. but mainly it's just been positive vibes. Okay. It's just been positive, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, like, how much money did you put into the business when you're starting up? Okay, uh, I started with one hundred and twenty thousand, mm -hmm. and at that time I targeted only twenty people, like uh, a twenty packs mm -hmm. picnic. So mm -hmm. this includes uh, twenty pillows. Um, 20 plates, mm -hmm. 20 glasses. Yeah, that's that's what I started with. Everything that entailed mm -hmm. um, 20 people. Okay. Yeah. So, like, uh, in most cases, you find that uh, birthdays, we say, like, for example, you're organizing a birthday yes. or you're organizing a bridal shower. Mm -hmm. You find that uh, most clients will come with what they want. So do you allow your clients to choose like their decor or you give them what you have? No, I actually give, um, I give them a list of the colors that we have, mm -hmm. the kind of different packages that we have, because we just don't have one package. Mm -hmm. We've targeted every person mm -hmm. um, in, the, you know, in the market. Mm -hmm. So you know, if you want red and white, there's that. You want some petals thrown over. 
Yeah, so we have a variety uh, clients can choose from. So now what we don't do is food, because now food is going to limit our client. And also it's quite sensitive. So now for that, you just tell the client you are allowed to come with your own food or mm -hmm. even choose a certain chef that you prefer to do your food. Okay, so yeah. I, I had just forgotten to ask that, like for birthdays, do they come with their their cakes? You allow it yes, if yes, someone I wants do. to? If you want your own cake, you you bring it. But now, of course, if you don't have any idea, we give you a list of people we've worked with before. Mm -hmm. Now you can choose from them. What about the venues? Venues as well. Uh -huh. So now you, we don't limit you. We don't tell you that is the only venue that you can use. Mm -hmm. we, we also give a list of the venues that you've worked with before. Mm -hmm. And also, if, if you have your own preferred venue, for example, you want a place in Karen, a place in Limuru, mm -hmm. you're allowed to choose. All right. Yeah. So... What motivates you to do all this? I'd say passion. Because you're doing, <laughs> you're, you're, you're just but 25 yeah. years old yes. and you're already in business. Like, mm -hmm. some, you're doing your <laughs> master's. Yeah. Like, some of us don't know what you are doing <laughs> when you're just 25 yeah. years. <laughs> well, we never know anyway. But you see now with passion, at least you, be, you become even more aligned because you, you have so much fire for that because you love it. You don't feel like you're working. Every other time you'd wake up and, you know, answer mm -hmm. calls, whatever time it is, because you don't even feel like you're working. Mm -hmm. that, it, it motivates me also the fact that I see at the end of the day, mm -hmm. people appreciate my work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, when you, when you feel appreciated, you feel so motivated, you feel like there's something that you're doing mm -hmm. and you also know in your heart that it, it makes you happy. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I guess you are motivation to so many young people out there yeah, who just you. like feel maybe their dream might have come to an end mm -hmm. at the age of, at a younger age than you. Yeah. Yeah. So, picnics, you find that most of the time they are, most agencies are still coming up mm -hmm. day in day out yes so as for you combating uh, competition the future of your company mm -hmm. you have to know like what do you, what what is in plan for you mm -hmm. for most people are coming up you just yeah. 25 years mm -hmm. your company is just one year old mm -hmm. and you're already doing fine yes. so like what are you doing to combat competition in future mm. so now um now, as time is going by, many people are starting to do this business. And if I compare with how we started and where we are right now, we've really, really grown mm -hmm. in terms of even the items that we use, the cutlery. Um, so now with this, uh, looking forward, mm -hmm. you'll see that many, many other people will start the business. Mm -hmm. And now I have to stay ahead of the game. Mm -hmm. Of course, coming up with new ideas, mm -hmm. um, also targeting now the older age, mm -hmm. people who are above 60, they, they can't do the pillows. They probably won't sit. So mm -hmm. am I flexible enough to deliver that? Mm -hmm. um, probably 10 people, just 10 people. They, they can't hire a whole event company to come and do decoration. They just want something small. Am I able to adjust to that? So mm -hmm. now these are the things that I'm looking forward to, mm -hmm. already making plans for that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So like... A 25 year old, are you dating mm -hmm. and is the person in support of whatever you're doing? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm, I'm actually engaged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he is quite supportive. We mm -hmm. are a whole team. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, for example, we have different setups. We are able to branch into different places and at the end of the day, deliver. Yeah. Hmm. So, what are some of the challenges that you have faced? in your business. In your business. So yes. as I mentioned earlier, uh -huh. you know when it rains uh -huh. and for example it's just a gathering of like four people and they didn't even need a tent. Mm -hmm. No, now being a whole picnic they just want it to be outdoors, quite sunny, they just enjoy the whole experience. So now once it rains that's done or we have to, to push it. Mm -hmm. Now apart from that being um the time where there's a whole pandemic, mm -hmm. people contact COVID. Mm -hmm. So th that means they reschedule their bookings, they can't uh, they can't come to the picnic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now those are the problems. And of course, what we all experience daily, as you said, you know, about the customer, you have to be really, really understanding and be patient with them. Yeah. 
And so with the, uh, talking of COVID, the regulations that are in place, mm -hmm. like a certain number of people, yes. has it affected you in a way? Well, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say so, because you, know, you see being a picnic, mm -hmm. you'll just find probably just five people, eight people, just want, they want to ah. gather. Uh -huh. Yeah, you, it's not like a wedding where there's 600 people. Yeah, so now with that, um, at least you're able to manage the numbers in mm -hmm. terms of um, how you space them mm -hmm. and also to, uh, speak to them and tell them, please be careful during this time. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, I've seen that you cook too. So mm -hmm. did you go to school to study the culinary yeah. skills? <laughs> <laughs> no, actually we don't cook. Uh -huh. um, we have somebody who does that. So mm -hmm. what we, we major on is doing the arrangements, mm -hmm. the tables. I know we, we've not even gone to school for that. Uh -huh. What we do is we train ourselves just, you know, through seeing videos on YouTube okay. and some inspirations, mm. yeah. So, <coughs> I guess that uh, you are in an inspiration to so many girls out there, yeah. and even boys too, mm -hmm. who have gone to school, they've done their degrees, they are sleeping on them. Yeah. They wake up from in town each and every morning, but they can't find a job. Mm -hmm. You can just talk to them you look at that camera, yes. talk to them, encourage them, mm -hmm. and just give an advice, a word of advice to them. Okay, and okay. then you remind us your social media handles and yes. where they can find you. Okay, okay. So now my advice would be really don't give up. And especially if you're passionate, go with that. Because passion is what is going to drive you each and every day. And never stop trying. Knock on that door. Don't give up. Yeah, that, that will be my, my major advice. Uh, you can find us on social media, especially Instagram as Picnics by Njoki. We have our WhatsApp number there, our calls, you can call us, and you can book a picnic with us. Thank you. Okay, so I'm sure that our viewers have been, you have been informed, you have been educated, and you have learned one or one or two things and we thank Jacinta for thank coming you. and uh, just encouraging young boys and girls out there to venture into business and one thing that I would want to say is that when you're thinking of going into business don't fear failure because in life you should never create room for failure and in but never leave room for Never leave room for regret, sorry. So it's been Y254 in the morning, WCW. Keep engaging with us on our social media platforms at Y254 channel. I've been your host at Faith Msoli on social media platforms. Up next is Kayesu with Girls Talk.